Today, I'm making some hot artichoke dip. This is perfect for a little party. You wanna take something nice and warm. It's delicious. I took it to a Blanco party recently and it was a big hit. People loved it. So I'm excited to share it with you. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it right after my chef joke. Why did the artichoke start up a blog? because he wanted to share his heartfelt thoughts. <laughs> so the first thing I like to do is we're gonna mince up some garlic. We're gonna chop that till it's nice and fine. And then we're gonna saute it in a frying pan for a few minutes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the edge off of the bite of the garlic and it's kind of mellow it out. Kind of like when you roast it, but you don't have to roast your garlic for 45 minutes. All this takes is a little sauteing for about five or six minutes. Now I'll take that out of the pan and let it cool for until we need it. Next, you're gonna grab a large bowl and we're gonna add some healthy mayonnaise to it. Nowadays, I almost always use a avocado oil-based mayonnaise because it's healthier. Check out these ingredients. Next, I'm adding some Greek yogurt, which will bump up the protein. Being thick, it'll help keep our dip nice and firm. In goes a brick of cream cheese. And to make mixing this up easier, make sure that you take your cream cheese out, you know, maybe 45 minutes before you plan to make this. If you want to get the written recipe, don't forget to click below the video in the description area and you'll find it there. Once this gets nice and creamy and well mixed, we're going to add that garlic. Next, we need to add some cheese. Now, I'm using Monterey Jack here, but you can use mozzarella if you like or really any cheese you want. I like to grate my own because I don't like all the fillers and the, you know, mold inhibitors and things they put in cheese that's already shredded, so I just take a minute and grate my own. For a little nutty flavor, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, for the same reason that I like to grate all my cheeses. I don't like any extra fillers. And I definitely think the flavor is way better. Let me know in the comments if you are a grater or do you buy it already grated. Now we're gonna prep up our artichoke hearts. Now I'd like to use mine in water. Check out the ingredients, you can see it's pretty clean. I'm gonna pour these into a strainer to drain out the water. Then I'll pour these out onto my cutting board and I'm gonna pull out a few of the whole ones and use them as decoration on top of the dip so people know exactly what they're eating. So I'll chop this up a little bit so that the pieces are small enough so that you can, you know, scoop it up. I'll drop those artichokes in the bowl just like you would drop me a like if you're enjoying this video and give it a stir until everything is well mixed. Then I'm gonna pour this into my one and a half quart baking dish. And then I'm gonna place those leftover artichokes right on top. I'm gonna sprinkle a little more cheese before I place it into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why did the artichoke refuse to get a job? because he was too busy being a vegetable. Today I'm gonna to serve my dip with some tortilla chips here. And feel free to use, you know, any vegetables you like, celery sticks, carrot sticks, anything like that. I also like to use Simple Mills almond flour crackers. These are gluten-free and they, they taste amazing with this dip. Here's our dip after about 20 minutes in the oven. And if it's not brown enough on top like it is here, you can always put it under the broiler for just two or three minutes. Just keep a close eye on it so it doesn't burn. So I'm gonna grab one of my crackers and give this delicious and cheesy garlicky dip a try. Look at that. It is just so nice and creamy. It's warm. I mean, everybody's gonna love it. If you wanna try a Mexican style appetizer, Check out my pulled pork nachos. These are delicious and nutritious. You're gonna love the flavor. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now, here's how you can let me know. Either smash the like button or and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, I'm gonna see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.